Good morning. Good morning. I pray you all had a restful sleep on last night. I pray that you're up in your right mind. I pray that everything is going well with you this morning. I am so grateful that you're here to give God your first room on commanding your morning day 72. Okay, guys, I'm going to go on to our thought for today. Our thought for today is your mouth legislates. Your mouth legislates. But Joshua, the son of Nun, and Caleb, the son of Hallelujah, Jeremiah, spoke to all the generation of the children of Israel, saying, the land we possess through though to spy out is an hallelujah exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights in us, then he will bring us unto the land and give it to us. A land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear the people of the land, for they are our bread. Their protection has departed from them, and the Lord is with us. Do not fear them, and all the congregation said to stone them with stones. Numbers 14, 6 through 10. Guys, I want to say, I want to add this. This virus thing that's going on that they just, you know, pushing pushing. They saying this. They saying you got his sayers over here. His sayers over here. His sayers over there. His sayers over there. We need to know that God has us. They are trying to sow fear. God said fear not. There is nothing coming upon this earth that God don't know about it. And if we are connected with God and we are hearing God and we are reading his word and we are living to the best of our ability for God. God is going to see us through coronavirus, any other virus they may come up with, any of the, you know, um, torment or anything that may pop up that will cause us concern. In the name of Jesus. We need to have that rest and assurance and that peace in God. We need to know that there's nothing that can come up against God. If it has a name, coronavirus has a name. That's its name. It has to bow to the name of Jesus. I don't care. Cancer, diabetes, um, you know, um, heart attacks, high blood pressure, hypertension, they all have a name. And it has to bow to the mighty name of Jesus. It cannot come up against God and win. It ain't going to happen. God got us, y'all. Don't allow them to, you know, just, uh, just plant this seed of fear in you about this coronavirus. We was washing our hands and stuff before. I should hope you was. You wash your hands you, like you wash your body. You wash your hair. You take care of yourself. You make sure that you don't spread germs. If you're not feeling well, most of us will stay home. Some of us may have to go into the job and just let them see that we really don't feel well so they can send us home. But through it all, just know God got us. Coronavirus is not all that they cracking it out to be. God know all about coronavirus. And he got it. And I trust him. And I'm going to do my part, but I'm going to trust God to keep me and my family through this crisis that we're going through. 
this state emergency and all these things all across the world. They doing this and they doing it. They pulling this out. They pulling it out. And they have to do these things. Okay, that's fine to get through what they're getting through. But God trying to get our attention. That's what I'm trying to say. God wants to know. Do you know who he is? Do you know? Do you really know who he is? Do you think this coronavirus is superior over God? Really? Guys, we just got to stay hold to God. We got to stay in prayer. We got to stay in his word. We got to, you know, communicate with him daily. Allow him to be God. Allow him to show up. Because, see... God is going to allow some things to come and happen in this world because you know why? They try to take him out of so many things and have took him out of a whole lot of things. But you know what? You remember what I said just earlier. Everything has a name. And every name has to answer to the name of Jesus. And every knee is going to have to bow going to have to confess that he is Lord over our lives, over this world. Hallelujah, glory to your name, God. I thank you. And they're going to have to come back. Hallelujah to the one that they try to say that he wasn't and try to take him out and try to say that he it's a myth, this, that. But God for to show himself strong and they have to come back to the the one that they wanted to say that he wasn't. But they're going to have to come back and say it and he is. A whole bunch of them going to have to apologize and they're going to have to confess that he is Lord because things will come that will bring you to your knees and you will call on God. You will call on him. You, you, may, you got some that say they don't believe and you know it ain't no God, this and that. But when trouble come, that's the first thing come out of their mouth. God, Jesus, oh Lord, please help me. But if you don't really believe in that, then who, I mean, who you calling for? If you don't believe he is, you know he is. So let's not fool ourselves in the name of Jesus. Let's really go back to our creation, our creator. Because he is going to show himself strong. They can try to move him. They can try to dismantle him. They can try to put him to the side like he ain't. But he's getting ready to show everybody he is in the name of Jesus. Okay, so we're going to go to the word for this morning. And that is Numbers 14, 6, and 10. So in the word of God today, we're going to Numbers 14, 6, and 10. And it says... But Joshua the son of Nun and Caleb the son of Jonah, who were among those who had spied out the land, tore their clothes, and they spoke to all the generations of the children of Israel, saying, The land we pass through to spy out is an exceedingly good land. If the Lord delights uh, in us, then he will bring us into this land and give it to us, a land which flows with milk and honey. Only do not rebel against the Lord, nor fear. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. Nor fear the people of the land. Who is the people of the land? What are you talking about? These people that sit here trying to sow this fear into us. God said, fear not. He will give us the land with milk and honey. Do you believe that? I know it look chaotic. I know it don't look like it. But faith is not what it look like. Faith is unseen. Remember that. Faith is unseen. It's not what it looked like. If you can see it, that ain't faith. If you can see what the outcome is, that ain't faith. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, God. 
It's, it says, for they are our bread. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Their protection has departed from them. And they wondering why. Lord, have mercy. Because they try to separate themselves from God who created them, who loved them so much and has a plan for their lives. Glory to your name, God. And the Lord is with us. Do not fear them. Hallelujah. And all the congregation said to stone them with stones. Now the glory of the Lord appeared in the tabernacle of meeting before all the children of Israel. Glory to your name, God. Are you going to be in fear to man, to what man want to impart in you? Or you want to be a child of, of Israel? Do you want to be an Israelite that you would look to God and believe God and know that God is going to work it out? Know that nothing can come or go, that he does not have his hand on it. He knows about it, guys. He knows all about it in the name of Jesus. And I trust him. And I pray that you trust him too in Jesus' name. Let's pray for this morning. Glory to your name, God. Hallelujah. Well, first, first of all, let's go further on into the word of commanding our morning day 72. Thank you, Jesus. The children of Israel wandered in the wilderness for 40 years and died. Not because they were lost, but because they, hallelujah, legislate their wandering exile with their own mouths because of their conscious, negative, and ungrateful chatter. They they're ignorantly, hallelujah, altered their destiny from a journey that should have that should have lasted approximately a fortnight to one of 40 years. Was this fate of the devil, the original plan of God or their own doing? Scripture clearly reveals that the 40-year wilderness journey occurred as a result of their own unsoaring words. They spoke themselves into a wonder, into all that wilderness for 40 years because they spoke it, they doubted, they complained, they, oh, they, instead of just like we going through this coronavirus situation right now, I could be somewhere like, like a lot of them, they buying up everything. I don't know. I can't say uh, if who who's praying and who ain't praying. But I must say this: the actions speak to me loud and clear. Fear. I know we do things to be able to go get through stuff, but there's a level of this has gone to another level, and they instead of pushing it every day. Every day you hear this, you hear this, you hear this. And you know, God see all and God know all. I believe God to keep me. I'm going to wash my hands like I wash my body, I wash my hair. I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm going to believe God. How can you not touch your face? You got to wash your face. You got to wash your eyes. You got to wash your nose, you know, your, your ears. I mean, you know, behind your ears and stuff. I mean, how can you not touch your face throughout the day? If I'm washing my hands, I'm keeping my hands and stuff sanitized the way I should. I mean, what's the harm in if I did? I'm not going to touch something germ, I know, and then touch my face. No, I'm going to make sure my hands is clean and everything and wash my hands and stuff before I go touching everything. So I'm just saying, guys, don't allow them to put this fear in your heart. Don't allow that fear spirit in. And God said, fear not, because he knows all. And he's going to give us the land of milk and honey. 
they can speak whatever they they speak in what they 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 have what they speak in. They speak in that chatter. They speak in that negative. Ain't nobody saying nothing positive right now. But I believe everything positive in the name of Jesus. In the midst of all this negativity. In Jesus name. I believe God and I'm looking for him to manifest strongly. In Jesus name. Let's pray guys. Hallelujah. Father I decree and declare that this year is pregnant with purpose. The best is yet to come. The pain of my yesterday will not appear in my tomorrow. Father, give me strategies for fruitfulness and let my life reflect your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, let's let God's light reflect his glory in our life. In the name of Jesus, God, I come to you and ask you that you help us, that you keep us, God. Even when we want to, this flesh want to go back and doubt and speak negative and fear. Father, you help us be strong. Hallelujah. Be bold. Hallelujah. Stand upright. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. Speak your word. Speak your truth. Speak your righteousness. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. We will speak a good report. We will speak positive things. We are healthy. We are wealthy. Hallelujah. We are in our right mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are delivered. We are set free. Hallelujah. We are healed. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to your name, God. I thank you for loving us like you do. And I thank you for being God. And I thank you, hallelujah, for sending your son. I thank you, hallelujah, God, for lying, for laying on that cross for us, God. And I thank you for taking those strikes for our healing, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you and I believe it to come to pass and manifest in Jesus' name. Amen. Guys, y'all have a blessed day. Believe God, fear not, and look to God. And look to Him to do what you expect. Even in the midst of all the chaos, the, the water is troubled. Jump on in, because God is in that troubled water. Hallelujah. Give it to Him and leave it with Him. And allow Him, hallelujah, to be God in your life. In Jesus' name. Amen.